Today, I'm going to go over Facebook Pixel in installation and setting up some custom events within Meta uh, via Tag Manager, Google Tag Manager. So if you go to your Meta account, go to the data source. If you have a Pixel already created, uh, you can see the code here. If you haven't created one, you can just go ahead and, you know, create a new Pixel. And uh, then you can copy this code here and go to Tag Manager and go to Tags, Add New, and then click on Tag Configuration. If you're doing it the first time, what we want to do is to make the process a bit more easier and convenient, we are going to download a template from the Community Template Gallery. So click here and uh, in the search field type in facebook down here you see this facebook pixel it's already added in this case so just click it and add that right uh, once you do that you'll be uh, seeing this in the template section as well so the facebook pixel is now installed again go to tag set new give it a name uh, let's say facebook um, page event, page view, and uh, you can put in the pixel ID for identification purposes. Now click on tag configuration, choose this template Facebook. It's now going to provide you uh, with the container uh, where you can just put in, you know, some master information and uh, map it to a relevant trigger. So in this case, you know, you can either put in um, this pixel ID like this, or what you can do is you can create a reusable constant, right? So click on that and click on plus again. And in here, you can click on it again and type in constant, right? Um, put in the pixel ID, give it a name. Let's say FB pixel, right? And save it. That way, what you will do is, you know, it's already saved, so I'm not going to save it again. So what it, what you will be able to do is you will be able to use the same. It's going to be saved somewhere here. So you're just going to say, uh, select it. And then, you know, go to the trigger, select all pages, and save this, right? What this will do is this will install uh, the basic uh, Facebook pixel on your website and it will send all the page view events over to the meta. Um, in here, we already have this one saved, so I'm not going to duplicate this process. Once you are done with this part, uh, what you want to do now is create custom events uh, within Google Tag Manager. So in order for you to create custom events, uh, such as, uh, you know, when someone goes to your website, maybe clicks on this chat online or requests a quotation, etc., you want to track those events, right? Within Facebook, although you have an option to, let's say, um, choose a few standard events like, uh, you know, some e-commerce events, add to cars, purchase, etc. lead purchase schedule. But sometimes you want to label these events differently, right? So let's say initiating a chat or requesting for a sample is not the same as, uh, you know, submitting a form uh, for services, right? So you don't want to label both of these form submissions the same. That's why you want to label them differently. When that's the case, what you have to do now is you have to create a few um, triggers, custom triggers reflecting those specific events on your website. For demo purposes, let's say I'm going to create one. Um, so the trigger, okay, before we create a trigger, why not just go ahead and, you know, preview the code that we just installed to see if it's firing. So put in the domain name, connect. And uh, the tag assistance is connected. Then I'm seeing that uh, the Facebook uh, global tag is, uh, is firing. So if we met a page view, uh, this tag is working fine. 
Now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and uh, create some triggers, right? So in order for you to create triggers, you have to know the action that a user takes on your website. So let's say uh, what we want to keep track of is when someone goes to this resource page and it goes to one of these uh, resources and clicks on one of them. So these are downloadable uh, PDF files. So let's say someone clicked on this right uh, and they can download the file in vivid um, for us it might be a form of engagement and you want to track this event so to do that you know uh, what we did is we have connected our tag assistant and uh, we can now see that the last click was this one right uh, this is where the user clicked so they went to see all the all product uh, resources and then clicked on this one. So uh, this is the last click. If I click on it and take a look at the data layer, I can see the element class is this, right? So you can just copy the element class, copy and paste it somewhere. You can copy this part or the other part, that's fine. But you can com copy the complete thing, right? So let's say copy this and paste it on a on a notepad file so that you can set up your trigger based on this information now now you go to your triggers and click on new give it a name let's say resource download and uh, click on trigger configuration click on all elements some clicks click classes contains this information right um, this is uh, I think you know for all these resources the click class is the same so if someone goes to any of these resources clicks on any one of them right so let's say now I'm clicking on this one and I'm gonna go to my tag manager now Previously, it was this outbound thing. Now, this is this one. And if I go take a look at uh, the element class, it's again the same, right? So this click class is the same for all the resources. So what that means is whenever someone goes to our website and clicks on any one of these resources from any one of these sections, uh, this event will be triggered and we will be able to send this event over to any platform you want to send it to, like Google Analytics, Google Ads, or Facebook, or any other platform. So let's say I'm going to save it. And now it's time for us to set up a custom, custom event for uh, Facebook, right? So go to Tags, click on New, give this tag the same name, Resource Download go to tag configuration select facebook select the constant we just created or just put in the uh, facebook pixel id in here instead of the standard event go for the custom one give it any sensible name it could be let's say a resource download make sure that you are not uh, adding any space it should always be um you know a dash or uh, underscore but there's no space right it's, it's an event and there are some parameter rules that we have to follow so that and then um, in the triggers what you're going to have to do is just select the trigger we have created and that was resource download right i selected it uh, let's say for identification purposes it's fb resource download event Okay, save it. Now, um, if I again go to the preview mode, all right, and go to the website, go to any one of these resources, click on them, let's say this one, and then this one. I just triggered the event. And now if I go back to my tag assistant, I can see uh, G4 download resource event 
as being triggered. So that's how you create uh, a custom event and uh, set it up for uh, events manager. Uh, within events manager, if you now go to uh, the test events section, and uh, let's clear all of these um, and type in the website URL. Go to the same um, sources to trigger the event. All right, so we triggered the event and if we now come back to our Facebook page, the event should show up. Hmm. For some weird reason, it isn't showing up. Uh, they could be because we haven't submitted um, the changes yet, right? So let's quickly go over this process and test it again. If the event is actually firing, and then we'll, you know, submit the changes, go to Facebook and uh, do a testing there. Okay, so continue and go to the site. Clear all. Go to the site. Go to resources. Pick any resource. Okay, this should trigger the event now. Oh, okay. So we have to initiate the process all over again. Okay, go to preview. Put in the website URL. Connect it. Go to resource. Okay, this should now trigger the event and we see it here so it's perfectly working within JDM so what we're gonna do is um, we are going to submit this let's uh, give this fortune a name download resource text button publish it And now go to our Facebook's events manager. By the way, I can all, I'll already see it in here, right? So I think it took a bit of time and now I can see the resource download event um, showing up in the recent activity um, in the test event section as well. So this is how you do it. Now, depending on your particular situation, uh, you can set up different types of triggers, all right? So you can set up um, page view based triggers. You can set up um, click based triggers. You can set up events based triggers. Uh, it's essentially not the scope of uh, this particular a video, but if you're interested in doing a full scale video on what types of events we can set up and how we can set up within GDM uh, for different platforms, including Facebook, uh, GA4, um, Google Ads, etc., do put your comments uh, in the comment section. I would love to cover those in future videos. Um, thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, stay tuned for more tips around uh, tracking, analytics, um, Google Ads, Facebook Ads, advertising, optimization, tips and tutorials, etc. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you get timely notifications whenever I put something valuable on this channel. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.